Hello, dear students. My name is Dragana Radojčić and I'm an English teacher. Thank you for taking interest in this lesson. Our topic today is Old School and New School. Dobar dan, dragi učenici. Moje ime je Dragana Radojčić i ja sam nastavnica engleskog jezika. Zahvaljujem se što se zanimate za ovu lekciju. Naša današnja tema se naziva Stara škola i Nova škola. First of all, let's define the word school. Prije svega, definišimo riječ, odnosno pojam škola. School is an institution where pupils or students study with the help of their teachers. What does that mean? Šta to znači? Škola je ustanova, odnosno institucija, gdje učenici ili džaci se podučavaju uz pomoć svojih nastavnika, odnosno učitelja. Let's make the difference between an old school and a new school. Napravimo razliku između stare i nove škole. Look at these two pictures. In the first picture, you can see an old school. And in the second picture, you can see a new school. Pogledajmo ove dvije slike. Na prvoj slici vidimo staru školu, old school, a na drugoj slici vidimo novu školu, new school. What can you see in the following pictures? Šta možete da uočite u narednim slikama? In the first picture, you can see a teacher. In the second picture, you can see a classroom. And in the last picture, you can see students or pupils. Na prvoj slici vidimo učiteljicu. Na drugoj vidimo učionicu i na trećoj učenike, odnosno džake. So, once again, let's read these words together. Teacher, classroom, students, pupils. Now, open your students' books, page 20, and let's read the text Old School and New School. Molim vas da otvorite svoje učbenike, strana 20, i pročitajmo tekst pod nazivom Old School and New School, Stara škola i Nova škola. Jovana says, Jovana kaže, Hi, my name is Jovana. I am from Novi Sad. It is a small city in Serbia. I go to school in Novi Sad. In Serbia, school starts at 8. My school is old. This is my classroom. My classmates and I have classes here. We have new desks and new chairs. The board is old. It is green. Our teachers write with a chalk. We have computers at home. Steve says, Steve Kaj. Hi, my name is Steve. I'm from Chicago. It is a big city in the USA. I go to school in Chicago. In the USA, school starts at 9. This is my classroom. My classmates and I have classes here. We have new desks and new chairs. The board is also new. It is white. Our teachers write with markers. We have tablets in the classroom. I will ask you to listen to this text carefully once again at home. Zamoliću vas da ovaj tekst još jedan put poslušate kod svojih kuća. Now, let's pay attention to the following vocabulary items. Obratimo pažnju na sledeće riječi. In the first picture, you can see board. In the second picture, you can see a desk. What can you see in the third picture? It's a new word, chalk. 
in the following picture, you can see chair. Then you can see Marcus. And in the last picture, we can see classmates. These words are mentioned in the text that we have just read together. Ove riječi koje vidite sada su riječi koje se pominju u tekstu koje smo malo čas pročitali zajedno. I will read these words once again and I expect you to repeat after me. Još jednom ću izgovoriti ove riječi i očekujem da ćete ih ponoviti sa mnom. Board, chair, desk, chalk, classmates, markers. Now, let's pay attention to the following picture. In these pictures, in this vocabulary section, we can see the USA. This is an acronym. What does it mean? The USA means the United States of America. Šta možemo da primijetimo na ovoj narednoj slici? Možete da primijetite jedan natpis, odnosno skraćenicu. Ova skraćenica USA na našem jeziku znači SAD. A od čega to potiče? Šta je to USA, odnosno SAD? The United States of America, odnosno Sjedinjene američke države. In the following picture, you can see a big city in the United States. Its name is Chicago. What is so specific about Chicago? Well, Chicago is the biggest Serbian city in the USA. Na sljedećoj slici vidimo jedan veliki grad u Americi. On se zove Chicago. Zašto je on tako značajan? Smatra se da je Chicago najveći srpski grad u Sjedinjenim američkim državama, odnosno da najveći broj Srba živi upravo u tom gradu u Americi. Now, let's watch an interesting video about the USA.
Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Nadam se da ste uživali. Now let's open activity books, page 21, exercise 1. Sada ću vas zamoliti da otvorite svoje radne listove. Strana 21, vježba broj 1. Let's fill in the blanks with the words given below. Popunit ćemo praznine riječima datim ispod teksta. Hi, my name is Jovana. I'm from Novi Sad. It is a small city in Serbia. I go to school in Novi Sad. In Serbia, school starts at 8. My school is old. My classmates and I have classes here. In the classroom, we have new desks and new chairs. The board is old. It is green. Our teachers write with a chalk. I will ask you to complete this text in the same way I did here. I will read once again the text. Listen carefully. Hi, my name is Jovana. I'm from Novi Sad. It is a small city in Serbia. I go to school in Novi Sad. In Serbia, school starts at 8. My school is old. My classmates and I have classes here. In the classroom, we have new desks and new chairs. The board is old. It is green. Our teachers write with a chalk. Zamolit ću vas da u svojim radnim listovima ovaj prvi zadatak popunite na isti način kao što sam ja to sada učinila. For your homework, I will ask you to do exercises 2 and 3 in your activity book page 21. Zamolit ću vas da za zadaću uradite vježbe broj 2 i 3 u vašem radnom listu na strani 21. That's all for today. Thanks for your attention. It was my pleasure to share this presentation with you. Goodbye. To je sve za ovaj put. Zahvaljujem vam se na pažnji. Bilo mi je zadovoljstvo da podijelim ovu prezentaciju s vama. Doviđenja.